Hi, uh, welcome to Everything Embedded. In this short video, I want to talk about how to reboot or power off uh, your Raspberry Pi or any other device for that matter if you are writing C++ code. Uh, but of course, uh, I'm specifically talking about the Raspberry Pi in this case. If you would have seen my previous videos, so which you see on the screen, so I'm talking about where I showed uh, the users how to deploy Qt touchscreen apps on the Pi after uh, making your own embedded Linux and then that uh, launching the UI. So you see the nice UI on the screen as well as you also see the power off button, the exit to terminal button and the reboot button. So if you are, um, if you are a C++ beginner, uh, you always are wondering how can I achieve that? How if I press this button, it should power off the Pi. If I press this button, it should exit to the terminal. And if I press this button, it should just uh, reboot the system. So how can we achieve that? Well, it's not that complicated. So let me show you the code quickly. The code, this is just a short video, uh, which I hope you will find it useful as I was searching for this information when I was implementing this functionality. So hopefully you won't have to search, um, go around searching the net. You can just have a quick look here and implement it yourself. Or even you can even copy the code. It's on my GitHub page, which I'll provide a link in the description. And uh, you can just go to the GitHub page and get the file from there if you want to. But just let's have a quick look at the very simple code, to be honest. So this is how I implemented it. So the main thing is you need to include the file sys slash reboot.h. This is present under uh, uh, if you have source code for or if you have all the C++ libraries installed on your system, you should be having this file. So this file needs to be included. Right. So how do we actually reboot? So you make a system call to a function called as reboot. So in my case, I'm passing a parameter called as RB underscore auto boot. So it will boot the device. So the name of the system function is reboot. Uh, that's the method which you need to call. And uh, what if you want to power off? Well, again, you just need to call the same method again, a reboot. But uh, this time just pass in the parameter called as RB underscore power off. This will power off the system and the device will uh, just shut down immediately but of course make sure uh, you need to be aware that uh, to actually execute uh, these methods uh, the user should ha should be having the root privileges you need to have the, the root privileges in order for these methods to take effect if you don't have the necessary privileges these uh, these methods will are not going to ha uh, basically have any effect and finally how do you exit to the terminal so all I was doing was since we I was launching this uh, UI application from from the command line itself as part of when the system started up, I just had to exit, just had to quit the application and it automatically took me to the command prompt basically. So that's how I implemented the this the terminal functionality. I'll just stop the music. Sorry to play the music. That's from my video. Uh, just in case if you yeah so yeah that's how you implement it you reboot you power off and you quit to terminal and for good measure if you want to have a look on the net so there is a method called as so if you just search for uh, sys slash reboot.h it will uh, tell you really what it needs to be honest so as you can see the method name is reboot and you just need to pass in the parameter the correct parameter of what you need to achieve so these are the various parameter which it takes so which is very useful if you are making your own ui which is the sole ui which would be launched when you start up your own embedded linux and you need, you want to present the user with an option to reboot or restart or exit to terminal in case of your device being used by a developer just in case but if you are uh, distributing some applications and you want a safe way for the user to shut down your system then uh, this is the method needs to be which needs to be used here i hope you like this short video and uh, thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one thanks cheers bye bye